Hi everyone, my name is Dee Dee and welcome to what I think are the top 5 awesome things in Fallout 4. The first one, unique weapons. There's so many weapons to choose from in Fallout 4, it's insane. There's legendary weapons which are like normal weapons for bonuses, and then there's peculiarly unique weapons which I love to collect and find. I'm going to give you a highlight of them. The first one here is the railway rifle, listen to the reload. <laughs> How cool is that? You can get it really early on, it's really powerful, uses really cheap ammunition as I'm showing you here, it takes out death blow, not a problem. You do have to look stupid like that as well when you're using it, but awesome, awesome gun. I could take out a death blow with it, and as I said, listen to the reload. <laughs> what about the junk jet? Yes, this random gun that you can chuck any of your junk into and fire them at people. Like this. Come on, Ragstag. Eat my dog bowl and other assorted items. <laughs> oh, I took a crit with an alien toy. To be fair, it's pretty rubbish. It doesn't really seem to do that much damage. I'm not sure if you put some heavier things in it, it gets more powerful. But yeah, you kind of die pretty easily with that one. But still good fun. What about this? The Broadsider. Check this bad boy out. It fires, wait for it, freaking cannonballs at people. <laughs> uh, I just love the unique weapons. I love the imagination. I love all the random things that Bethesda dream up. And the Broadsider is a fine addition in Fallout 4. My next one, the jetpack. How could you not want to use the jetpack. This is a new addition. Power armor features so much more than Fallout 4. And look what you can do. You are Iron Man. You can fly around the buildings. It opens up loads of exploration. You can get to places that you just, you can't get to without the jetpack. Here I am just flying around the rooftops. In fairness, you can normally get up here, but yeah, it's, you can just jump from building to building, pick and choose when you where you want to go, like here. Wouldn't know where to cross it. You know what? I'll get across it. Thanks very much. Does use up quite a lot of fusion cores though, which is one negative. But hey, if you can pretend to be Iron Man, <laughs> check that out. That is so cool. I think it's an awesome addition. And then, if you're using the jetpack, you must mod the leg armor with explosive vents, because then you can do this. Check this out. <laughs> get a melee weapon and kick. But, next, sniper rifles. How could I do my top five things in Fallout 4 and not talk about sniper rifles? They're my favorite gameplay. The fact that you can shoot people like that, do six times damage on your sniper rifle, is awesome. I can't say enough. Look at it. What, that guy didn't die? That's ridiculous. But yeah, it's just a, a totally different style. There's not many games that do sniping quite so well in my opinion. And you also get snuck up on by wild mongrels like that. Never mind, you paid the price. My other favourite thing to do with sniping though is this. Sniping the mini nuke from a suicide. Kaboom. Very nice. Okay, my next awesome thing to do in Fallout 4 is going rogue. And what I mean by that is I put on my heaviest power armor, collect up all of my strongest, hardest, biggest weapons, save it, definitely save it, find yourself a good position, and then start a war with a faction. I like to see how long I can last with the Brotherhood of Steel. <laughs> they, I mean, how often are you gonna be able to fight as many people using your fat man as you can. Mini nukes are go. Freaking up. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, brother. Good night, Captain. I feel a little bit guilty, but then again, this is quite a lot of fun. It's not often you get to fire the mini nukes from the fat man, so why not? Oh, and yeah, they don't like me very much anymore. So basically, it's a game of how long can you last? How many of them can you kill? I have kind of cut the video there because it does go on for quite a long time. Uh, it's also probably not the best idea to start it under the airship because they tend to start on you as well. 
Uh, why not? It's a bit of a tension reliever. You know, when you're bored, you're kind of wandering around for quite a long time. Save it, crack out the fat man, and generally have some fun. Paladin dance. I'm so sorry, Paladin dance. I don't. Let's stop. I'm just. Oh, I'll reload you back up. Oh, I missed. You're not. I will reload you. It's not that you're going to die. I've just saved it before. Because uh, I want to fire lots of mini nukes at people. Sorry. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> Oh, it's it's so much fun um, just to just to mess around once in a while and uh, see how long you can last. Whatever you do, though, don't stuff up your saves because you don't want the Brotherhood of Steel to be after you for the rest of the game. My fifth most awesome thing in Fallout 4 is just the exploration. I have so much enjoyed in this game just wandering through the Commonwealth bumping into random things and I think they've outdone themselves this time Bethesda with the amount of cool stuff that's in the game like this the glowing sea it's this radiated madness with loads of scorpions running around it but get the hazmat suit in get exploring find this a relay station which leads you on to further quests different stuff going on I'm astounded with how many cool things there are that they put into this game. They've, as I say, they've really done an amazing job, and I think they've done more than they've done in the usual Fallout games, which is one of the reasons everybody loves playing it, is the open box. Look at the world they have created. Look how beautiful it is. I mean, this is, again, just randomly, I would almost say, just randomly walk around. Don't fast travel anywhere, because if you do, you take out half of the detail of the game like this here the crashed alien ship just a random easter egg thrown in you can follow the brother trail and before you know it you're kind of located an alien but it's like what the hell <laughs> oh it just it shoots you and boom where you get the alien blaster from one of the, again going back to the unique weapons of the game i am um, it's just amazing yes how much detail has gone into the game like every building has got a story has something going on okay you can't get into every building but they just like this there's this this weird murder maze look at that it's a freaky hours there's some guy against the wall it's, and it's all just littered with content like a christmas tree with a machine gun in front of it i don't know why but it's really cool it's like Every building, every nook and cranny has potentially got some awesome content in it which is going to lead you to something else like what are these things? That is freaky. Get back you little freaky monkeys. Oh, what about this? The largest amount of trip scale thingies I've ever seen in my entire life. Why is there so, so freaking many? And there's some grenades. Oh my days. So there you go guys. That's my top five coolest things to do or most awesome things in Fallout 4. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please hit the like button if you do. There's loads of Fallout 4 content on my channel so please subscribe as well. But thanks so much for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next episode. Take care now.